Hello to the world and to the kingdom citizens. I greet you in the precious holy name of Yeshua Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach, who said in his word, John 8 and 32, and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Hi, I'm Dr. John Curry, ambassador, Pan-African, and welcome to the embassy of the kingdom of heaven on earth. If you want to follow this podcast, please subscribe to JC Global Embassy TV One. Ring the bell and hit the thumbs up button. And don't forget to share this message with someone who can benefit from it. Today, I have a message for you that I think is going to bless you. I think it's going to bless you in the sense that this message is about black women. So the title of this message is, Who is this black woman named Eve, who came from a black man's real name, Adam? Who is this black woman named Eve, who came from a black man's real name, Adam? Let us get into this, and we trust God that you can benefit from it. The Word of God tells us in Genesis chapter 1, verses 25, it says, And God made the beast of the earth after its kind, and the cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God said, let us make man in our own image, after our own likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowls of the air, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image, and the image of God created he him, male and female, created he them. And God blessed them and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. This is God's doing in his first making, the only making of a man. God decided that he wanted to do something different in the earth. So he made man in his image. We go to Genesis 2, chapter Genesis chapter 2, verse 18. It says, And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help me for him. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. And Adam gave name to all of the cattle, to all of the fowls of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found and help me for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took a rib and closed up his flesh instead. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from the man made he woe man and brought her unto the man and Adam said this is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh she shall be called woman because she was taken out of the man God was moving strategically in the garden of Eden and he was doing it for an intent purpose and that's why the subject matter is today who is this black woman named Eve who came from a black man's rib named Adam? To prove that this is true, that the Garden of Eden was in Adam, was in Africa, or shall we say al Kabul land, that is the original name. And the, e the Garden of Eden was a presence, a place where God could show up and talk to Adam and Eve. When we look at the word Adam, the Hebrew and the Greek study Bible says that the word Adam means, the name Adam means reddish brown. And my skin tone is reddish brown. In essence, Adam was and Eve were both black people and not white. 
They were both black people and not white. And this is just why it's important for you to understand. Who is this black woman named Eve who came from the ribs of a black man named Adam? It was God who said, it is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help me for him. Therefore, God caused the man to go into a deep sleep and he slept. And therefore, he pulled out the woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam got so excited that Adam said, this is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. And he shall call her name woman. And not only woman, but he shall call her name Eve. It was God who introduced the black woman to the black man, the black woman Eve to the black woman, to the black man Adam. Who is this woman who was taken out of the rib of the black man? Adam called his wife Eve because she was the mother of all the living. Who is this black woman that's the mother of all living and have always been with the black man from the very beginning. Who is this woman? She was with Noah. Her name is Miss Noah, and Noah had three sons, and those three sons ended up getting saved and bringing their wives. Therefore, there was only eight people that were saved on the earth during the time of Noah. Noah and Miss Noah. So from Noah and Miss Noah, we get Abraham and Sarah, black. We get Makeda, the queen of Sheba, black, who was so in love with King Solomon, who was black. Akhenaten and Queen Nefertiti, all black. Who is this black woman who have ruled with the black man together throughout antiquity? Who is this black woman who have ruled with the black man throughout antiquity? That's why there are kings and queens. The black man was the king, the black woman was the queen, and they all ruled together. Black men, who was with you when you was kidnapped and put on chain, put in chains, and then put on the slave ship? Who was with you then? It was the black woman. Who told you when to take over the ship? and cause a mutiny on the slave ship. Yes, it was the black woman. Who was there with you when the slave master tied you to a tree for the breaking of the buck and beat you almost to death? Who took care of you, all of your wounds, and who helped you back to health? Yes. It was the black woman who jumped the broom with you while you were in slavery, having nothing, nothing to show. It was the black woman who raised your children when you were sent to another plantation or today sent to another prison plantation. Yes, it is still the black woman who was picking cotton with you from sun up to sundown, out in the heat, sweating in the heat with you while the master is beating some of the slaves that was on the cotton field. Who was there with you, black man? Who was there? Yes, it was the black woman. Who was there with you during your crisis time? who was fighting along with you when all of the slaves had to go in order to form a revolt. She was fighting with you. Who was there with you? Yes, it was the black woman who was with you in the Underground Railroad, leading you through all the chaos, her name is Harriet Tubman. The Underground Railroad, 1831, 
who she was, a black woman, who was with you in the Civil War and doing Emancipation Proclamation, who was there with you. Yes, it was a black woman who was with you during the hard times and rebellion during Reconstruction, 1861 to 1867. Yes, it was a black woman who was with you in separate but equal, 1896. A black woman who was with you in the Marcus Messiah Garvey UNIA movement. 1916. Yes, it was a black woman who was with you at the Harlem Renaissance of 1920. My brothers, it was the black woman who was there with you after World War I and World War II and even the Vietnam War. You coming home broken up, shot up, mostly out of your mind, who was there with you? The black woman. Who was there with you through the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and to this present time? It was the black woman. Who, is, who was with you before you became a millionaire? Before you became a billionaire? But you went off and married the slave master's daughter. So when you die, the white woman will get all of your riches. But who was there with you before you became a millionaire or billionaire? Yes, it was the black woman. Black men all over the world, all over Africa. Black men, the black woman have been with us from antiquity to this modern era. She has suffered with us. She suffered with us on the slave ship. She suffered with us in the cotton field. She suffered with us while being beaten. And if she was pregnant, according to my own mother, if she was pregnant, they would dig a hole and put her belly in the hole and still beat her while she was pregnant dig a hole in the ground deep enough where her stomach can lay the baby in the hole and beat her on her back. Who was with you, black man? Who was with you? It was the black woman. To all black men of our black women, to all black men, our black women have been with us through pure hell and they have went through the same traumatic factors of slavery and some of us are still suffering from post-traumatic slave syndrome and Stockholm syndrome as well but who's there with you black man the black woman so it's time that they may be so at times the black woman may be a little mouthy. She may be a little edgy. She may be mad at times. She may have some anger as they continue to hear from you calling them the B word. I wanna say that again. So at times a black woman may be a little mouthy. She may be a little edgy. She may be a little angry as they continue to hear you, black man, calling them the B word, threatening her, treating her like a dog and not taking care of your own children. But who's with you? The black woman. Yet the black woman are still with the black man because God has assigned her to us and she is our helpmeet. And that is to become a better man. She's helping us to become a better man. So she is our helpmeet. 
We must stop treating black women like dogs. We must stop fighting black women. We must stop cussing black women out. We must do all of those things that we did in antiquity. When the king ruled, the, the queen ruled. When the king said something, the queen backed him up. When the, when the king was a little bit out of order, the queen would take him to his chambers and talk with him to help, to help him get right back focused. Black men and black women, we need each other. We need each other. We cannot do it alone because our children are dying because we're spending most of our time fussing and fighting with each other over dumb, stupid things. So to all black men, when you rewind your mind and go back to where you came from, you would know the black woman went through the same hell you went through. She was in the same ship. She got the same beatings, the same lashes. She watched her babies being sold to other plantations, watching you being broke by the white master in front of the whole family, watching you do all of these things, but she never left you. Who's with you? So I say to all the black men, black men, you cannot and will not ever be a so-called high-valued man until you learn how to respect black women, learn how to respect black grandmothers, learn how to respect the mother, learn how to respect your wife, learn how to respect your sister and your daughters until we as black men show that respect and place value on all black women no matter what they look like. When we do that, nothing, absolutely nothing can stop us. Black men, we must place value on our black women, starting with our grandmother. Treat every elderly woman as your grandmother. Starting with our wives, treat every woman as your wife. Starting with your sister, treat every woman as your sister. Starting with your daughter, treat every woman like she's your daughter. And when we do that, as I said before, no power on earth can stop us. Why? Because we are the only ones that are holding ourselves up. We must, I repeat, we must, we must place value on all black women no matter what they look like no matter how they sound no matter what they said why because they've been through the same traumatic factors as you have they've been going through right now post-traumatic slave syndrome and many are still stuck in stockholm syndrome where the love for the master is more love than we give to ourselves so I say this unto you, when black men learn to respect all black women, there is nothing, absolutely nothing that can stop us. So the question is, who is this black woman who came from a rib of a black man named Adam? Who is this black woman who came from the rib of a black man name Adam. I say that to you. I trust you can receive it and believe it and move forward with your life and allow our black women to know that black men value them. Get this. What a black man doesn't value, a white man will never value. And this is why they treat our women bad in front of us because they know many of us will not say one word. So to the brothers, to the black males all over the world, value black women and watch and see how far we as a black nation can go. God bless you. God keeps you. One love, black nation, building time.